This is Bumper to Bumper TV. This is Toyota's attempt to shake off the blahs from its one-time domestic sales leader, the Corolla. The current edition was restyled to keep in step with the larger Camry and the brand's current design language. It's several generations away from its predecessors, one of which we owned and it looked just like this one. Very little sex appeal and even less in the way of standard comfort features, but it was reliable. The 11th generation of the compact, which by the way has grown over the years in terms of external size and internal space, at 182 inches in total length, it's right up there in the mid-size country. In fact, the EPA classifies it in that segment. So if you want a true compact, then go for a Yaris. Buyers at the base level L version should be prepared for a very bland, monochromatic interior. Of course, the mid-level LE, LE Echo, and S versions get fancier with more bells and whistles. For the record, our test vehicle was the S, and of course it came with the Entune app-based interface. Like other car makers, Toyota realizes that its target market of young buyers want connectivity in their cars, and so they are trying. Right now it offers a lot of options with the notable exception of Apple and Google Play, maybe in the next version. Mechanically, the Corolla has a decent blend of performance and economy, with a CVT automatic transmission that mimics a 7-speed automatic. A traditional 4-speed gear automatic and a 6-speed manual only come in the entry level. Under the hood is the 1.8-liter aluminum inline 4-cylinder engine with dual VVTi. There is an echo variant that stretches out fuel economy. This was helped out by the 17-inch wheels on the S which provide very good road surface contact. In routine driving, we found the Corolla to be easy to handle and relatively quiet something to consider if you're using it for a daily commute. Interior fit and finish is above average for domestically produced cars. Yes, this is an American built vehicle assembled in Tupelo, Mississippi, which can now claim something besides being the birthplace of Elvis. Overall, we think the current version of the Corolla is a much needed step up for the nameplate in terms of design, but it faces stiff competition from Chevrolet, Kia, Ford, and Hyundai to attract buyers who are often making their first car purchase at this level. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.